Miles, a heartbreaking end to the game here at the Rec. Can you sum up your emotions? Uh, firstly, just the best wishes to Brandon, you know, went down there with a, with a head loss, so it's never nice to see that um, from, from any player. So best wishes to him. Um, I think on our behalf, you know, we were classed for about 60 minutes there and you know, it seems like the same old story this season. You know, we let them back into the game, so after that extended break, you know, they came up far and scored the try and they kept on putting pressure on us there. And, but I think our set piece probably let us down, that allowed them back in the game, you know, they had a good scrum. Uh, then the penalties from that went line up to line up, which is obviously what they want to do. So, yeah, we have to look at ourselves and see how we come out of those periods of, of time and, you know, look at ourselves overall because uh, the game's 80 minutes, you've got the last 80 minutes and they keep the pressure on the whole game. Yeah, they came out the blocks um, pretty fast after that stoppage and were kind of re-energised and regrouped. What could we have done maybe differently in that, in that period for us to kind of go on and see the game? It's tough to say. I think it's always looking for the next job mentality. You know, out of that, we had a scrum. And, you know, they got, I'm pretty sure they got a penalty from that scrum and then went on from there. And, you know, off the kickoff, they got a good, good exit off the kickoff. So you know, it's just thinking about the, the next job, the next task we can just stay in the moment. You, know, you can never look forward and you can never look back into what happens. It's sticking in the moment, it's sticking with the, with the task we have. It is hard, I'd imagine, to kind of say different things each week when kind of there are existing uh, problems set uh, each week that you're carrying. How hard is it for you, as a homegrown person, uh, this run at the moment? How, how do you feel? Yeah, no, it's massively tough. Like, you know, I haven't been playing for, for massive of that time, so it's, it's frustrating to not you know, put my impact on that out on the pitch. But, you know, for the lads, it's, it's got to see because there's so much good rugby. Like, for 60 minutes we're, we're so in it and we're, we're piling the pressure on teams and then just let them off and let them come back into the game so yeah, it's hard to put the hard to put the finger on right now but you know we're, we're growing you know you look back to the start of the season when we were losing games by massive score lines and you know, it's not that anymore there's a, there's a different issue in there there's, a, there's an issue of lasting for, for 80 minutes so, um, so you know we all three games left now and there's, just, there's nothing really to, to play for other than, other than pride and Sending people off that are leaving at the, the end of the season off with off for the back. So that's what it's about for me, and I know that's what it's about for the boys. And we're we'll kind of looking into those last three games. And like Charlie said last week, it's finding that consistency now with the, the remaining three games and just end. Yeah, 100, 100. It's you know Gloucester next week, which is a, which is a local derby, so that that's got to mean something. And last time they came here, you know, I think it was the Boxing Day game. You know, they rolled over on us, so. We're just looking at the next one and thinking, you know, what did they do to us in the last game? How can we get some pride back there? And put the pressure on them and hopefully come away with a, with a win. But everything we do now is about, like I said earlier, staying in the moment, thinking about the moment, thinking about the boys that are going. That's what, that's what we're doing.